All right, I wanted to show you um, an example of how to graph your quadratic equation um, for the Path of the Sun project. So after you've completed quadratic regression on your TI-84 calculator, you can come to Desmos, type in the equation, also your scatter plot points from the data that you collected. So um, you can see in the first line of here, I have the quadratic, quadratic equation, and then I have um, my ordered pair here and so forth. I have I typed all of the ordered pairs in, and you can um, actually click on that too if you want one of them to be labeled um, and whatnot. Okay, so that's how you enter your data so you can see your graph. Now, um, the other thing you want to do is set your um, your scale here. So we know that we're looking at the path of the sun from zero hours to 24 hours in a day. So I chose negative 2 to 26 just to kind of um, go a little outside those numbers of what we want to see. And then your y-axis, um, you want to, you know, choose like your lowest um, where you can see it across the uh, y-axis. And um, and then again, it's going to go, um, you know, down that far and it should be the same because it's the parabola, right? So it's going to have its reflecting point over here. Um, and then for the highest point you're going to um, maybe even look at your scatter plot data over here and see what your highest point was was 60 um, and that should work here's my 60 up there so if I go back to my settings I can see I chose 65 just a little outside that range okay so um, again and you can change your step that's like what you're counting by here we're counting by um, twos and the y-axis we're counting by 20 so you can kind of mess around with what works for your graph Okay, the last thing I want to show you, which is really helpful, is you want to click on the parabola, and you can see here that it gives me my vertex, and I can click on the um, x-intercepts as well, and it gives me those points, and even the y-intercept. So those are really helpful points, and you want to click on those so when you um, screenshot your graph or save it, however you're doing so, you can see that information um, before turning in your project. Okay, I hope this helped.